Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Gemini. Now let's see what messages will come up for you guys. What do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for Gemini? In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love, as well as any question that you may have in your mind. Okay. First card out, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Gemini. So I see money coming in your way or money could be on your mind. You could be expanding. Um, you know, you could be trying something new with your bunny. Let's see, though. Mm, yeah, I feel like you're walking away from somebody who maybe was toxic. I do feel like there was a sense of deception here. Maybe that is what made you move on. It's like somebody was playing mind games with you that maybe you just didn't want to be a part of, okay? Okay. I'm gonna have to clarify that yeah i feel like you're i feel like you're um trying something new it's either with your money or there's something about your energy that i'm seeing um has changed you may be closing off to love but your advice here is to not close off to love okay um Look at your outcome. Ooh. There's your advice. Bottom of the deck, we have three of cups with the five of cups energy. So a certain situation here, a certain partnership here has brought in disappointment for you. Somebody ha has disappointed you majorly. And now you could be trying to get over that disappointment. Um... I feel like there's something that you're manifesting in the near future for yourself, Gemini, with the Three of Wands energy. Um, and it's looking like it's something big. You have Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups in your future position. And in your advice, you have the King of Cups. So it's almost like you're being told to open up emotionally. Okay. I see you very focused on your work. I see you working on something and, you know, that is expanding for you. Um, with the page of one's energy, I also feel like some of you are not willing to be vulnerable towards somebody anymore, or it's like you're not wanting to open up to somebody anymore. Okay. And whoever you're connecting with is apparently wanting to take action. In fact, they're wanting to rush in and communicate. Their energy is the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands though. Let's see why the Six of Swords looks like you're walking away from somebody or a certain situation. Two of Wands. Why the Two of Wands? The Devil. We have the same judgment with the Nine of Wands. I feel like, okay, so the decision here is going to be yours because we do have the judgment here too. Um, with the Two of Wands and the Devil energy, it, it looks like... Um, Gemini, um, there maybe was something toxic and I feel like there was that toxic loop, okay, of waiting, hoping, wishing for somebody to change or for somebody to give you what you wanted in a relationship, okay? That is something that I feel like you're walking away from now. Um, you're, you're certainly not wanting to be a part of this situation, okay? Something toxic, something addictive, um, and you recognized it. Okay, why the Seven of Swords? Why the Six of Pentacles? The Chariot. For some of you, this could be a long distance relationship or just the fact that somebody here was being distant or breadcrumbing you. It almost looks like somebody here um, had a very in and out kind of an approach towards the situation. Okay, so maybe they were not very present. Okay, in the relationship or um yeah i do feel like there was somebody here who was breadcrumbing you or not really they were not really present okay 
why the Hierophant in the past? In the past, you have the Hierophant. With the judgment reverse. <laughs> okay. And the same judgment is here too. Knight of Cups. So it looks like... Um, you may have found it really hard to let go of a certain situation in love. Um, and I feel like you also, it was really hard for you to see things with clarity. It's like something was very clouded. Um, and it was because you were showing up with a lot of love. Okay, so it's like you showed somebody your vulnerable side, but you got disappointed. It could be that they were married or something, but it looks like... Um, you were really believing in the situation, the world reversed with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's always that lingering sense of um, feeling like there's some unfinished business between you and somebody, um, Gemini. Somebody maybe has more than one option here. Um, but I do feel like there was confusion that maybe um, caused this. But I do feel like there was lack of decision being made here. There could be a third party for some of you. Why the Three of Wands? Ten of Wands. So Gemini, I feel like you're being told here to release a burden. You're being told here to release a burden. To release what doesn't serve you anymore. Okay. with the three of wands and the ten of wands and it's like what you've been wanting you're manifesting it but are you ready to drop the burden because if you're not willing to drop the burden then things are not really going to move forward so there's definitely something from the past that needs to be dropped why the page of swords the death card oh i feel like you're kind of like you're accepting this ending and you're trying to move on from something. So I like it. I feel like you're very curious to know what, what is it that life has for you next. We have Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So it's not like you don't have new opportunities coming your way. I see new love. I see, you know, new ways to make money and things like that. New business, prosperity, left and right for you. Okay. Especially with the Ten of Cups. Your outcome here is the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So I see you in a relationship in the long run, or I just see something here turning out in a certain way that it is going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment for you. Your advice, though, is the King of Cups and the Judgment from this reading. We will clarify. Six of Cups wanted to come out in the reverse. I don't feel like taking it, so I'm not going to take it. Um, again, some negative attachments to the past. Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? Five of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles with the Moon and the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So something was very confusing for you. Perhaps I feel like you still have emotions for somebody, but you know, sometimes we get caught up in that um, energy of no, I don't feel this way or no, I don't really, you know, mm, I don't really love this person. I feel like you're trying to be more self-sufficient. It, and it is stemming from a past disappointment here with the Five of Cups. However, um, you need to be open to love. Don't let your past disappointments be the source of, you know, your unhappiness or, you know, make you closed off to love. Because I feel like as much as I see you in that independent vibe, there's a need for you to recognize that, you know, it's fine. Some of you feel like you wasted your time on somebody and, you know, now you're categorizing love as a whole that it's a waste of time right now, okay? But again, um, it is for you to still be emotionally vulnerable, but at the same time working on yourself, you know? So not a codependent situation, but your advice is to not close off to love from what I see here. What, why the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords for their person's energy why the king of wands and the knight of swords for their person's energy okay strength 
could be a Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag. Um, this is somebody who has been holding back. I'm getting a little bit of a very strategic vibe from this person. Like this is somebody who's very strategic. Um, this person wants to offer you love. And I do feel like this is somebody who was previously holding back. For some of you, there could be two different people approaching you as well in the time to come. So beware. Or again, you know, however you take it. Why the page of wands? It's like you're not... Ooh. Yeah, you feel like there's that emotional disconnect that you feel towards a situation, um, Gemini. You, you just feel like... Mm, it's one of those feelings where, you know, when we look back in the, in the past and we are like... Mm, I don't really feel like it <laughs> okay so that's what your energy is um here there's something that you're looking back at and you're like mm, i don't really feel like it so <laughs> why because nothing came out of the situation okay you may feel even depleted in a sense three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles um i see work partnerships working out in your favor i see you finding good people around you for work and stuff so i see good work for you i see prosperity in your work i even see you manifesting new opportunities new new opportunities and new um even new people in general the same energy something legal could go in your favor or you could simply dealing with a libra we, you could be dealing with a Libra. We have Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles here, which is the same exact energy. This was in your future energy. Three of Wands, something that you're manifesting or something that you're bringing in. Um, and the same Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles energy here. So there could be something um, money-wise that you've been working on that I see, you know, you could be manifesting. Um but I also feel like this has a lot to do with manifesting love and money and abundance in general. Um, why the judgment? Why the judgment? Your advice is the judgment as well. Getting over a heartbreak with clarity, seeing things with clarity, learning from your past experiences, I'm hearing everything happens for a reason. So whatever happened in the past happened for a reason. With the moon and the three of swords energy, it's like the truth is right there in front of you. It may be heartbreaking, but sometimes we have to stand in our part. With the queen of wands energy, it's almost like staying confident and true to yourself. And once you've made a decision, you make it with confidence. Ace of Pentacles, um, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. So it's almost like you're manifesting something new. There's This is a very um, victorious energy with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity in um, money, in love, in, you know, it's, it's like standing up tall. It's like learning from your past experiences. And again, I feel like you could be a decision away from this but don't close off to love your outcome here is absolutely beautiful where where you're headed towards in the future ace of cups ace of pentacles and the ten of cups so whatever this is this is absolutely bringing you a lot of happiness joy contentment peace um some of you could be having a good time with your family as well but i really feel like this is um this is something big actually to look forward to that's why you're being told here to not close off, okay? Um, you're manifesting something. I'm, I am getting that wide here. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini, check out the extended, which will be linked in the description box to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you. Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, your future love as well as your advice from spirit and any question that you may have in your mind. So we will clarify that as well. Now let's see, what do we have for Gemini? Confidence is your key to success. So confidence is needed. 
believe in the impossible. Again, you know, with the Queen of Wands energy, I told you to be confident. This could be something about a business opportunity or something about a job. Believing in your passion, making that decision to pursue what you've really been wanting to do. Or this could just simply be to believe that you are capable of manifesting what you desire. Because at times you could be putting yourself down. There's a lack of, a lack of confidence. Um in a certain area that is holding you back. What do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for Gemini, please? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. It talks about um, something again that you're manifesting, but you're manifesting in its own due to, in its own due time. Um, this cannot be changed. This cannot be um, like you cannot really ask for this to happen tomorrow. So you need to be patient with what the divine has for you. Let's see. True love. Apparently, I see you in a relationship. I see you in a relationship. What do we have for Gemini, please? Okay. Selfish, holding back. There's somebody who's selfish and this person has been holding back. Or maybe you're being selfish now and holding back. Who's who? Whoever is being selfish. But, but I was getting that you dealt with somebody who was like that, you know. Ooh. You have sneaky, hi, sneaky, lying and hiding. What is this, Gemini? There's somebody who's obsessed with you. There are so many that fell here for you. Let me show you. Look at this. Dating, options in love. So I do feel like you're, you're going to have options in love. So even if somebody was sneaky, somebody was doing what they were doing. Yeah, I feel like you left because of somebody lying. And that's why you're looking back and being like, oh, it doesn't work out for me this way. Um, we have, I held back because I was afraid to admit. Okay. So it's kind of like giving you the answer as well. Somebody was selfish and holding back. Maybe they were holding back because they were afraid to admit their true feelings for you. They are obsessed with you and I can't hold back. <laughs> Why is there so much of that holding back energy? Holding back, holding back but I can't hold back anymore. So somebody here was being very careful and being very like, um, you know, they were playing it cool with you. And the reason for that was, first of all, this person runs away from their feelings. They don't like to show their vulnerable side a lot. And secondly, they cannot hold back anymore. So they could be coming in, but you will have options in love. So, that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Gemini. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. Um, so yeah, do check it out. I'll be linking it below. Take care, Gemini, and bye-bye.